Hello everybody and great day. Today I'm going to be reviewing the HP LaserJet M209 printer. So this is a monochrome single function printer. You cannot scan, copy, or fax from it. And it only retails for about $150 here in the United States. So let's take a look at its features and I'll give you a little review on it. And I'll talk about, you know, what HP Plus is actually. Because this printer has HP Plus built into it. It's the first printer that I've owned to have HP Plus. So if we're just doing a little tour of this printer, um, at the bottom in the front here we have the paper input tray um, which can hold about 100 to 150 sheets I would say and it um, actually has this nice dust cover here that you can attach in the front and up top we have the paper output tray which can be extended. We have a few of these buttons up top um, which allow you to control the stuff you would need to do with your printing, you know, just the power, cancel, paper feed button, the information button, a little Wi-Fi button, a little Wi-Fi light, um, and also some other lights that can come on if you need paper, or if the toner cartridge is lower, needs to be replaced. To replace the toner cartridge in this printer, it is relatively simple. You simply have to lift up this top piece here, like that, and reach down onto the handle of the cartridge, and simply lift it out. It has a track on either side of the printer so it will um, come out pretty easily. When you're handling the toner cartridge make sure not to touch um, this green greenish part here, um, the drum and you know also this little chip here you don't want to touch that. And this printer uses HP 134 and 135 toner cartridges. It simply will fit down like that. They sell standard and the extra large um, toner cartridges which are going to be a better value. You know the toner is not really going to get old so even if you had it for like a year it's I would say it's probably worth buying the XL size. I will say that HP um, did a really nice, made a really nice design for this printer. Um, one thing that HP is really good at is making their products you know look very fresh and modern. Now HP also sells other versions of this printer. They sell the M234, which incorporates a scanner, and if you get the like the SDW or SDWE, it will also have a 40-page auto document feeder if you need to scan and copy. Um, now all of those printers, as well as the HP Neverstop printers, which you know look very similar to these um, this line of printers. They do not actually have touch screens or anything like that, which I found interesting. All of them have these buttons on them. Now, I don't know, I don't, I'm not really sure what direction HP is heading in and, you know, taking off all the touch screens, but from my experience in working with people when they use a printer, they, at least all the people that I've spoken to, really like having a touch screen. So I don't really know why HP has gotten rid of the touch screens on many of the models. For a printer like this, which is simply a single function printer, there's not really a need for a touch screen, but for the multifunction printers, a touch screen can really make it easier to navigate and to, you know, control all your settings and stuff like that. So this printer has HP Plus built into it. So what does that really mean? So what do you get from HP Plus? Well, you get six months of free ink or toner, a year extra of a limited warranty. So this has a two-year limited warranty here in the United States, but you are required to have it uh, connected with an internet connection which I would feel that most people would be doing that already. Once you have it connected to the internet, then I do believe you can use the USB port, which is on the back. On the back there is a USB port. Um, you have all of your connections and all the stuff you would need on the back. And then you are also required to use genuine HP original toner cartridges with the printer. Using genuine HP toner cartridges is also what I would recommend myself. I have repaired many printers in the past and I have seen the damage that remanufactured, refilled, and compatible toner cartridges can do to your printer. They might even break or spray toner everywhere even before you get it in the printer. And they can really cause some serious damage and they can also provide lower quality output. So I always recommend the genuine HP toner cartridges for your HP printer. So let's print something to the printer. That way you can see just how fast this printer is. This printer prints at up to 30 pages per minute. For $150, that is incredible value in my view. 30 pages per minute is a really fast. But it will have a little bit of a slower um, first page out compared to inkjet printers, so you will be waiting for a few seconds to actually get your pages starting to come out. So first we'll do a little single-sided 
test document. I just sent print. And there we go, that was four pages and it did it um, pretty fast. And now we'll do a double-sided test document. The pages are warm to the touch after they come out of the printer, and the printer does make a considerable amount of noise. I would say it does make a little bit more noise than some of the color LaserJet Pro printers that HP offers. It definitely makes more noise than inkjet printers. So would I recommend the HP LaserJet M209? Well, I think that it's a, definitely a reasonable printer. For those of you that want a LaserJet printer, we don't want to have to worry about clogging. If you want to let this sit for a lot, long time and not have to worry about it, then it's a great choice. Um, it's, you know, really nice design, relatively low cost, pretty easy to use and set up. But for those of you that, that you know, for those of you that are not in that category and you can handle an inkjet printer or a different type of printer, then I would recommend, um, numerous inkjet printers over this printer. I think that inkjet printers are overall better than laser jet printers in most cases. Um, so I would recommend some inkjet printers. You know, you could go for an EcoTank monochrome printer from Epson if you wanted to get, you know, really low cost per page. Um, pretty fast output, not as fast necessarily as the LaserJet Pro. I believe the monochrome EcoTank, that can do about 20 pages per minute. Um, and it has the large EcoTank bottle. Um, that you use to refill it, or you could go for a color printer. You know, if I was comparing this against some of the single function HP Office Jet Pro printers, the single function HP Office Jet Pro printers might be a better choice because they can print in color, they have about the same quality text, um, and you know, lots of other stuff that you can do with a color printer, like printing photos and such. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, have a great rest of your day, and you can always subscribe below. I will be making some more videos soon.